The same people that try and tell me that God is beyond human understanding are the exact same ones that try to humanize God. First, I want to inform you that God is not a man. God is not a person. I would argue that the name of this entity that we are referring to is not even God. And unless this creator has came to you personally and told you that its name is God, then we can come to the conclusion that it is nameless. If and until said phenomena happens. What most have came to know as God is an infinite source of energy. This source is is not beyond human understanding. In actuality, it would be who of you to learn to understand and know it, because to know it is to know thyself. Your Bible even tells you we were made in its image. But the curses of the mind that come along with comprehending this allegorical piece of literature from a religious stance subjects you to denying your own power, and furthermore convinces you that you are not even worthy of it. So you remain dormant, docile, and unaware of the powerful source of energy that lies within your own self. Understand that you are a soul with a body having a human experience the purpose of this experience is to realize who you are in the midst of being confined to this fleshly body know thyself we present to you a Rome Productions What's good everybody? If you're a first time viewing my content, end of this video, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Sheesh! She said a mouthful, didn't she? Miss Alex, and she follows me, I follow her, I've been looking at her content for a good while, she's seen some of my content, she loves it. I did a reaction video to one of her videos months ago, um, but she, she be putting it down. <laughs> she be putting it down on TikTok, um, just giving people a hail. And I love it. And she's natural, beautiful skin, everything. I mean, she's so fine. I had to watch this a second time just so that I can actually hear what was being said. No, just play, just play, just play. She, she, made, she said a mouthful, like from beginning to end, everything concerning the whole basis of how Christians humanize God. I mean, let's just break this down for a second. You give God a name. You give God a face. You give God a body. You give God you know, senses of being mad, being happy, being sad, being disappointed. But at the same time, he is supposed to be beyond human experience. And we as humans are not to know the thoughts and the ways of God. My ways are not your ways and how I think is not how you think. So when you are dealing with this whole basis of God, you know, persecuting those who refuse to worship him and all this other type of stuff. And there are countless instances in the Bible. There are countless instances in the Bible where you have God persecuting his own people. We ain't even talking about the, the heathens, but continuously in the Old Testament, he has given up his people to his enemies. He has given up his people to their opposition because they won't do what is pleasing in his eyesight. And it emphasizes so many times that because the people of Israel, the children of Israel, aren't doing what is pleasing in his eyesight, that they are going to be cursed in the fields, cursed in the markets, cursed going in, cursed going out, cursed in what they say, cursed in what they do. That they're going to, to die of famine, that they're going to eat their own kids, and all this other type of stuff. Like, <laughs> this is the God that they serve. This God literally gets power off of your long suffering. He gets, a, he gets a kick out of you suffering because you won't do what he tells you to do. Because you won't do what is pleasing in his eyesight. What you do isn't as good enough as it needs to be. Now, it is an interesting game that the Christian God, the Jewish God, plays on their people. Because when you look at it, that nobody is, you know, worthy of being righteous. Nobody is worthy of obtaining divinity other than to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior that even with you being even before Christ your righteousness wasn't good enough what you did in your works wasn't good enough by the law you was a curse but through grace you are righteous all this within itself even though it's allegorical if you deal with it from a religious and a church perspective it makes you feel like trash it makes you feel like you're not, you're, you're not good enough and you're never good enough. So you have these Christians going to church every week, every Sunday, confessing of their sins to make themselves feel better. It's like they come with a heavy burden. 
And when they ask God for forgiveness, their, their burden is lifted, their slate is wiped clean, and they go back to the continuous cycle of being <laughs> what, that, what they think they are, a sinner. As she said, and I couldn't have said it better you know, myself, that the infinite source that you call God is within you. The kingdom of heaven is not in the sky or in the ground or in the sea. The kingdom of God is within you. It's not to come. It's not going to be in, in the, the second coming of Jesus. It's within you. And see what Christianity and the church teaches you is that you can't look for God within yourself. You have to go to church to find God. You have to read your Bible to find God. You have to pray to find God. You have to seek Him and, and find and you, all this type of stuff. Praise and worship and all this. Like, there's a routine. And there's nothing wrong with a spiritual routine to tap into your higher self. But when you have a routine and you're on a pilgrimage to try and find God, you know, you have some of these new girls that be out here, oh, when I found Jesus. All the, like, <laughs> where was he hiding? I didn't know he was lost. You know what I'm saying? You you found Jesus. What? <laughs> where 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 is he? Where is he hiding? I want to find him myself. You know, and people don't understand, you know, allegorical literature or meta uh, metaphorical literature to understand that the Bible isn't meant to be taken literal. It's just a demonstration of what's going on within yourself. It's a demonstration of understanding how to tap into your higher self and how to receive enlightenment. When it, says, when it tells you to be still and know that I am, it's telling you to be still and tap into your inner self and understand that you are that which you are. I am that I am. Yahweh. That's all there is to it, is to know thyself. Know thyself and you shall know the gods. People are trying to search for God and trying to tap into that energy, trying to hear God. What, what does God sound like? All this type of stuff. And they don't understand that that's spookism. <laughs> oh, I felt the Holy Spirit. No. That's spookism. You have to understand that the God that you're looking for is in yourself. That's all there is to it. You have to understand that Jesus is just a representation of your soul. The Son of Man, the Son of Man, the Son of God is representing your soul. The Son of Man, the soul of man. When you, when you break down the word Solomon, it's dealing with the Son of Man. That's what Solomon means. Solomon means the Son of Man. When you deal with the root word of Solomon, you get soul. Solar. Soul is dealing with your soul. That's all it means. That's all it's representing. We're dealing with as above, so below, as within, so without. So just like the sun sustains everything in this world, your soul is what sustains you. When it talks about how you're supposed to be led by the Spirit, walk by the Spirit, how the kingdom of God is within you, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things will be applied to you. It's talking about tapping into your soul. So tap into your soul and everything that you ever need in life, everything in terms of how you want to, to utilize peace, freedom, love, happiness, all that type of stuff will be applied to you once you are led by your spirit. But share your thoughts in the comment section below concerning the whole matter at hand. Make sure that you follow Lex Ascend that is on TikTok and I believe that's the same thing on Instagram. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share this video with other people. Until next time. I'm Tyrone and I am out. Me, myself, and I. Ride it, no, no, hit me up, I not reply. Feeling focused, got my optics on the line. Feel on the prize, you compromise, go suicide. I pay the price, it's just me, myself, and I. Ride it, no, no, hit me up, I not reply. Feeling focused, got my optics on the line. Feel on the prize. Come for mine, suicide, I pay the price, hey.